and welcome back to another video. Another casual. Casual, round casual two. Casual video. You can see me onboarding from our last match, the stasis deck. I'm just taking the Herbal's recalls out because I'm going to need them again for this match. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, Spoiler. <laughs> but yeah, I think now we're doing proper Atlantic. But I can, we can technically... Oh no, because I was playing with multiple time vaults. That's why I wasn't Atlantic. No, yeah, you were Atlantic. Atlantic has multiple time vaults. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm pretty sure it was just Atlantic. Okay, it doesn't matter. Here we're playing, again, your shop deck. My and, shop's deck um, and your... Uh... I'm trying to bring Reanimator. Now I'm trying it here as like Mark Ivaldi kind of built it when there was the one Rasputin. I know he's like super high on Rasputin, which we're going to see in this game. He is absolutely justified in. And yeah, I, I make, he does uh, I make, make a lot for that. Yes, yeah, yeah. But I make a lot of, like I'm going to say early, I make a lot of mistakes because I got overwhelmed with that. This was the first game I played with, Rian with Rasputin where I was like, oh Christ, I have like three or four options of what I can do with this card. And I'm pretty sure I picked the wrong ones because I was just like, I didn't know, like, in the past, it was like, okay, I have Rasputin and like this thing, so I'm just gonna do this and that. This game was like, I have Triskelion, I have Brain Geyser, I fire, like I had so many things that I could recall. It was crazy. So I definitely make some mistakes. So if Mark Ivaldi watches this, comment, let me Scold know. Him. Let Give me him know. Grief. Yeah, let me know what you would do. But anyways, <laughs> uh, it's pretty yeah. standard as you've yeah. always seen. The four anime deads, All Hallows Eve, which I think he himself actually stopped playing with. Uh, Rasputin is a card, just to say one more time, I think it's a six cost, four one, enters with seven counters. You can remove a counter to prevent one damage or add one colorless mana. So the idea being is you reanimate Rasputin and then you can use up to seven counters to cast a cast giant uh, giant, uh, giant brain geyser, a mind twist if you're playing it. Or a recall. A recall. Or, yeah. or even just Triskelion, right? Like you can just yeah. go animate dead Rasputin into Triskelion. Like that should be good enough, which like I wasn't thinking about. I'm always thinking because All Hallows Eve puts you in this mind state, at least for me, where I'm like, no, I got to reanimate five creatures. You don't realize that two fat boys is kind of okay. So like, if you can play Ras reanimate Rasputin for cheap and then just yeah, give it like here's a Triskelion too, deal with both of these. Yeah, that's pretty good. If so. I'm seeing like a Shivan and a Triskelion on the board, I'm not gonna be too. Yeah, bad. Exactly. I'm yeah, gonna be like, okay, I need to respect this. See, that's, that's the to... that's the problem though. Is like when you all have those leave five creatures, it, it, it incorrectly makes you think that two is not enough. Like you have to reanimate yeah. every, but like, no, it's not true. Just get your five fives in play. I want to just say really fast, really quickly, uh, I will always play Library of Lang in the main board. Yeah, yeah. It was featured there. Uh, people don't play it. I think it's just wrong in a million, per million reasons, which we've talked about in the past. And by all means, message me on Facebook. I'll, I'll <laughs> give you them all over again. Okay. Yeah. So and is, uh, going back to the shops deck I was, we saw last week, unfortunately it didn't perform too well, but I mean, you can't win them all. And I, like when I'm playing the uh, Will Milgram's kind of version tweaked a little bit. Yeah. There's always like one or two cards I'm always going to like try to tweak and switch out. So from one, you know, from one video to the next, it'll be slightly different. With this deck list, I mean, this is a pretty standard shops, uh, yeah. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always cards I'm always thinking about tinkering. Like, you know, what if I slip in like a Winter Orb? What if I put like two Armageddon's me? What yeah. if I... You know, take out the Felwar Stone and decide to go, you know, put something else. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've seen many variations and I think, like, the way this is done is pretty well tweaked. I don't know, like, there's like so many different angles you could take you could be the aggressor. Uh, I've seen different variations where they kind of lean a little less on the relics and the city in the bottle they put like juggernauts mm. you know to be like you know instead of having just like nine creatures with the tetravis you now have 13, 13 creatures you're more plus aggressive. your vicious factories yeah. you know so well also just to, just to say in, in terms of that aggressive route is like one thing that didn't occur in our last match which helps you significantly versus twiddle vault is the turn one suchi suchi copy suchi yeah. Or Juggernaut copy. You know what I mean? Like getting that yeah. turn one four or five attacking creature in play and then copying it is like massive. It's, it's horrifying. It's even better, I think, than turn two or turn three reanimate Rasput and play Triskelly. And I think yeah. like turn one Suchi or Juggernaut copy artifact or followed by an IC is like. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it could be quite terrifying. And uh, I think you've experienced that a couple of times. Well, yeah. The, the, the hardest games I've had to play versus you when I'm on Twiddlebolt. Or any deck, just actually, even Reanimator, is when you go, here's four damage on turn one, and here's eight damage on turn two. And it's just like, F fuck, now I'm at 12. Yeah. And like, it, like, you know, you were attacking for two for three turns in a row. That's six instead yeah. of 12. 
and I, I won with two life, right? Like, yeah, significant, significant. Which can make a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but always those Armageddon's, though. At the end of the day, <laughs> those Armageddon's, they, uh, yeah. they're either threatening to end. They give you the sweats. Yeah. Makes the, the palms a little sweaty. Makes you, uh... Knees weak. Yeah, makes you clench a little. Right. <laughs> Something for... Oh, everything feels tighter for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Nice play, Matt, by the way. Yeah, that's from the uh, Guildhouse group on Discord. Yeah. They, uh, got that a while back, actually. Probably a bit over a year now at this point. Maybe even close to two. And it's uh, it served me well. Love the art. And, yeah, I, uh, heard, I heard there's a car card called Triskelion that this art is inspired by. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever heard of Triskelion? No, no, for sure. Ah. So, so, you see, like, you have a pretty, you know, you decide to hold back a little bit on something. Yeah, I don't remember what was going on. I wish we, I wish we, we should have, uh, like... Well, it's because like... we're not, like... Because I think in the bar, the camera is, like, above. Oh, yeah, so... Where we're playing, we're using a webcam. So right. if I show it, you'll see it on the screen. Yeah, I have to, you'd have to trust me. Yeah. You have to, no, you have to no. put your trust in I have trust that. issues with you after in the a, last in uh, the, video. You have to put yeah, your yeah, trust in, okay. uh, in the fucking Italian people. Yeah. Uh, you never know, it's <laughs> a little bit risky. So I had a pretty good opening start. I had, uh, you know... Well, threatening... Threatening Triskelion on turn two, essentially, right? Yeah, so I was like, okay, I'll do the time walk thing. I'll put my mox in them, get a couple lines out, yeah. see what's going on. So actually, just to say really fast, I went back into um, Bird of Paradise instead of Sinbad. Not because I don't have faith in Sinbad, it was more just I wanted to see what Bird of Paradise had to offer. And I think it shone a bit in one of the games. Yeah. But like, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, you I'm still not, I'm not, not 100 you know, no. percent no. I mean, Mar other Mark is like, Heavily, thinks yeah. it's like one of the greatest cards he's added to the deck. I think that was me going to get some pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, all right, I'll let you do your thing. I'm just gonna go eat. No, I sacked the Lotus for three black. Demonic King. Demonic King. So still having one floating, I believe. Demonic for ancestral is the classic. The classic. Yes. The classic old school. The classic Anthony. Yes. Look, no, no, no. no. Hey, <laughs> a lot of people do this move. This oh, is a. Oh, there's not pizza. <laughs> No, you're not wrong. Like, it's not a bad thing to do. It's just more like every time you play Demonic, I usually don't worry about what you're going to get because it's always going to be Ancestral. <laughs> Unless it's like a win condition or sometimes yeah, it's yeah. Mind Twist, but... Balance, like... Mind Twist, Armageddon. Yeah, so... But, I mean, still, drawing three cards when I did nothing is pretty good. Yeah, so I had the floating. So, I believe I copied your Sapphire at that point. Yeah, and then you know what I'm playing, which is okay. Again, it's casual, so I don't mind having the transparency. And that card is basically telling me I'm not allowed to play with uh, Bizarre Baghdad anymore. Yeah. So now, one thing is actually interesting to note is that I think also because I saw you play City in the Bottle or City in Brass, Brass. I'm like, usually it's a card you play with a lot. So I'm like, you know what? Let's yeah. just put the just put an end to that before it yeah, even comes out. Squash it now before. Uh... But I think I decided to cheat with you and play three mana for one card. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see what six mana gives me. Is that a Triskelion? Is it a Rasputin? Yeah, so I, okay, I hard cast the Rasputin. And now I'm like, okay, I've got seven mana to work with. But I don't know if I do anything or if it's the right thing that I do. So, like, I would like yeah. to hear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this video on the old, on the reanimator group always. So I'm hoping someone, Mark, it seems to be like, this seems to be, I mean, that guy is like destroying tournaments with this deck. I'm struggling like a motherfucker and this guy is like going 6 0. So, Obviously, I'm missing something. Send them my way, I'll fix his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, nice. <laughs> but this is like, this deck has evolved. So, like, before we ever heard of, before any Facebook group got made or whatever the hell, Benoit and I were working very hard on a turbo pumpkin, we called it. But it was a dark ritual for All Hallows Eve deck that just dumped everything into the graveyard. So it's a completely different playstyle from what the reanimator has justifiably turned into. Yeah. So I'm not playing the deck that I started playing in 2016. I'm playing somebody else's deck with a new way of playing it. So I don't really know how to play it properly. I'm still learning. Well, I remember even when we were first playing together, you had like Dark Rituals. Oh, yeah, yeah, still, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, it was the big thing. It was really just like, I'm gonna yeah. bizarre, 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 and then Ritual All Hallows Eve and or Ritual Triskelions. But yeah, so that deck is no longer in existence. No one is playing it like that. In fact, I'm even seeing people cut All Hallows Eve altogether. Yeah, because Rasputin is so good that like it's such like a flavored card. Yeah, for sure, for yeah, sure, for sure. Like, I would know. never. I would keep one as like the, the, my fun of kind of like yeah. if truly the community says yeah, all the Hallows Eve is actually just not good enough anymore. I would keep one just yeah, just for a, yeah. I don't know. 
it's kind of like, like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, you have to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen to the community if you want to play the best deck, but... Uh, that would be like a mono black deck without a demonic tutor. tutor. <laughs> You'd be like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait a minute. Something's not right. But so, anyways, like, you see, game. like, I think you were struggling, or I think you were just straight up attacking with it. Yeah, because you can still use the... Um, you can use the counters if he's tapped, but he cannot gain another counter on your upkeep. Because basically, if you have less than seven counters, he gets a counter. Yeah. But he has to be on tap. Yeah. So here I was like, look, look, if I have two blue sources, I must not have had anything that I could Rasputin out. Because, like, look, as much as I know I made mistakes in this game, I'm not bad. I'm not no, bad. No, no. So, like, I wouldn't have done nothing, you know? So I definitely don't have something to do in my hand. Yeah, so so I, just, I, must, I must have just attacked, thinking that if you try to block me... I'm surprised. Uh, I was like, hmm, will he strip me if I played the Time Twister? And you didn't, so... I'm wondering if like, the strip mine you kept now because you're like, okay, I can't... Uh... I wanted it for your... Workshop, you, you, probably? Like, more you like work, factories, workshops, library, maybe. Or I just felt like I needed the mana. Yeah. Because it's only the one strip, right? So you don't want to. I, I don't like using strip mine aggressively when you only when you only have the one. It always feels bad to like hit their blue source and then they just play another one and then factory factory and you're just like, ah, okay, well, <laughs> ah, yeah. Why? Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit more antsy in this match. I I move around a lot, but it's okay. This match, every match. <laughs> no, no selling. You're not out. feeding your cat or eating pizza. Yeah. No selling out. Oh, and talk about Petit Chat. There's my fingers. I'm trying to tease the cat onto the table. She wants to come, but uh, I, mean, I don't know. She It's because I want her to come. She's playing hard to get. Cats, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just pat her like that. So. Meanwhile. meanwhile got back the time walk. Yeah, meanwhile. You're just. Uh, now, now you're living your best life. Ah. Uh... That's it. I, I don't remember. I don't remember if I had bazaars in the opening hand or in the, after the time twister because like that city is just sitting there undisturbed and it's definitely preventing uh, something. Yeah. So you're reading the text. See, if you put the dice over the art, you could have read it. Yeah. This is my argument of why the dice should go over the art. This is my argument for why there shouldn't be any cards with counters. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so I had the line draw. See, but again, though, have you noticed, like in both of these matches, you're not really a, like you're not pressuring me in any way, which is like not normal. Like, yeah, I we like, yeah, I said, this we've... is like an unusual. Like, usually I'm much more, but I, I drew fairly well. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was like, okay, I could kind of set up my board state. I didn't feel... another ancestral. Sorry, you didn't. Feel... Yeah, sorry, you didn't feel. I didn't feel like too pressure from your side. I said, okay, he has like a four-one. I need to respect that at some point. I need to do something about this. So I was like, okay, if I put a Triskelion, he could just prevent the damage. So I need mm. to take care of this person. I need him to use his counters. Or I need something where... And... Uh, what did I draw? Yes, okay, now, now, now your big boys are coming out. So yeah. what's interesting is that you can't actually kill my Rasputin with that Triskelion. Yeah. It's a 4-1, but I got 7 counters. Yeah, that's so. why I was like, okay... I have it there, but but as much as you can kill it, you're making it so that I can't just draw seven cards with Brain Geyser, right? Like yes. I, I have to keep at least three counters on my guy to protect it from your Triskelia, which means now the seven counters is actually just four. Oh, there's Le Petit Chat. Le Petit Chat. I don't remember if she walks on the table or not. It's okay. So at this point, I'm like, okay. So you draw. At this point, I'm like, okay, because I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, so I'm trying to limit your mana resources at this point. Like, anything, even though it's, you know. Oh, no, that can't yeah. be good. Okay. We, yeah. We, we, yeah, I mentioned it. I was like, yeah, I have City of. Uh, you're like, ah, this guy. This Italian over here. He's got a bust of Paulinos. At least we, we catch these things right away, you know, and we pick yeah. them up. Even, like, the last match with that mistake with the City of Brass is like, yeah, you played it, but we, we catch them, like, fast, you know, which is which I think is, like, the best way to make a mistake is to be able to identify it, like, right yeah. away. If you can, like, make mistakes, but identify them. Don't yeah. make mistakes and then go home thinking everything's okay. <laughs> yeah. So you play your Time Walk and your Ancestral. Yeah. Well, if they're going to dance, I want to dance. 
Oh, we'll dance. Oh, we'll dance, yeah. The, the, the viewers will see. Don't worry. Yes, yeah, so I went to discard, I think. Oh, wait, no. What the, what the fuck just happened? You discarded Shivan. Oh, because I, I time walked. Time walked. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pay attention. We just talked about mistakes, and here you are just fumbling but we, but, but, along. But we caught it. <laughs> we caught it fast. The consistency. Uh... Just think of the consistency. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, so now I'm like, okay, now what's up? But I mean, again, I wish I showed. I wish I showed my hand to the camera because I'm sure now I've got things to do with that Rasputin. See, I think I just reached for the dice there, and I was like, Ah, what do I do? This or this? Ah. Like when it's Vintage Storm and you have 15 different routes. Like I, I got the vision for that. I could see where they all lead to, and I'll pick the right one. This, with the way the decks change, I don't. I mean, I don't you, know anymore. I don't know are anymore. You, you're, you're admitting you have trouble with old school cards. Yeah, well, no, I am admitting I have trouble <laughs> with. New versions of old school decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, it's the word new. Cool that's story, the, bro. Cool uh, story. It's the new that's the problem. Yeah. But um, anyways. So you got the Shivan. I got a Kel Sorb too, which is nice, because now I can try to blow up your Trike if I want to, knowing I can protect my Rasputin. Because you can't retaliate by... Uh, but I opt not to. Hmm. That's bizarre. I, I think you to. probably went, wanted to wait to see what I was going to play next. Oh, you know what actually I was thinking probably was like, uh, my Rasputin and my Shivan deal with your Trike. I'm not going to use my Chaos Orb to do what I am already what I already have handled. Yeah. I think, yeah. That's, I think that's what it is. Also, I could probably Chaos Orb your City too, so I can get a Bazaar into play. Is that an option, right? Yeah, that's what I was, I was kind of anticipating that. I said he's not too worried about my creatures because he's got, like, you know, a Shivan. So even if he doesn't attack with his Rasputin, he can still swing in for four. Yeah. Uh, or five if you pump it for one, because that has the enemy dead. Asking me how many cards in my hand is never a good sign. <laughs> I do that sometimes, just to scare, put the fear of God in people. <laughs> people yeah. <laughs> I don't have that mind twist. I'm like, how many cards in hand? So like, yeah. uh... That's when you, you look at your hand... Because I also look, look at their expression too, because I, 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 sometimes they give it away like they have something that they're wanting to do yeah so what did i yeah, tapped your lotus me standing means i'm eating pizza oh okay nobody asked but cool story well <laughs> it's relevant it's, it's relevant <laughs> it's relevant it, it's information you know getting crumbs all over those sleeves and stuff Ooh, so you punch me in the face for three why ah, ah. explains 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 a lot Oh no, you must no, have, I shoot you for, you for two, two. Yeah, and then I shoot the trike for one. Kill the trike, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Smart, smart, smart. See, mistakes, we catch it right away. Yeah, right away, right away. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think we might lose some viewers after this video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Rasputin dead and not really... Okay, I could have maybe used um, one of his counters to activate the Chaos Orb. I think that might have been an option, because... Like he just, I just lose him now, right? And I don't get to use those counter training. So that's what I mean. Like, it would be obviously before anyone comments on this, it's like it would be good to note that I didn't show my hand, so we, I don't know what's in there. Mm. But essentially, that Rasputin's been in play for four or five turns with seven counters on it, and I didn't even use them. Yeah. So like, that's not Rasputin's fault. I'm pretty sure that's my fault. So I'm gonna. Uh, I think I played at this point. I think I played the copy artifact. I think it was a, a, at a point in time where you're like, don't. Was it this game where you're like, don't mention the cards you're copying right away, wait until... Uh, yeah, Because impossible. you said I might activate my Chaos Orb, and if I do so... Yeah. yeah we had like yeah, a yeah. discussion, I think, at one point in this game, where I, I declared it immediately, and you're like, no, wait, like, play the card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now your birds are... I actually think this might this might be the game where I think the bird actually came in the clutch. I think I needed either an extra mana or a color source to to do something, and I think it actually worked out. But anyways, we'll see. What is this? This is a lot of mana. Oh, this is a by testicle brain geyser. How much? What is it a one, pineapple? Two. Looks like a pineapple. Uh, it's like it's it's a brain. There's veins on it. You know. Uh. So anyways, what is this? This is a brain geyser for six, right? Because I've cracked the lotus. So yeah. Two, one, two, three, plus the six game. Yeah. So I bring guys over six. It's pretty good. After a balance. Good. Man. Ah, it's like, yeah, look, you want to put your 
big creatures in the graveyard, but like, I don't know, draw six past the turn just to discard. Ah, just like, that doesn't seem powerful. So I can animate dead it next turn. Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem strong to me. Is that a deck problem? I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. Play the scrub lands. So my attacking for two. That like copy artifact is always the sapphire, right? I think. Yeah. So I attacked you for two. I believe. Yeah. And then you tap the soul ring, because yeah, I mean I can. I don't think the the blue didn't really matter. The red might have mattered if you were afraid of Shivan. Actually, maybe maybe tapping the red source was correct. If I if I play a Shivan here. Well, you get the birds of paradise anyways. No, but Shivan costs two reds. Oh, two reds. Okay. Yes. It's and yeah, okay, so interesting, interesting yeah. to, to note. Like, maybe because I have so much land already, and I have so much blue, you should try to find the card that's the hardest to, to cast and affect that source. But I mean, whatever, look at the odds that I had the Shivan in my hand, all kinds of stuff. That's all right. You know, I mean, tapping Soul Ring basically means I'm afraid of Mind Twist, I'm afraid of Recall, I'm afraid of uh, Triskelion, maybe. But Triskelion could still be cast, so I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just big, big uh, mind twist. Maybe you were just afraid of. After I drew all those cards, you didn't want me, one of those to be mind twist, and then like me have seven cards and put you to zero cards. So, ah, look at that, icy manipulator. Oh uh, yeah, the bane of the reanimator deck. Honestly, <laughs> it used to be disenchant and start to plowshare, but I feel like icy is so much more frustrating because <laughs> you still have the card on yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I can't. <clears throat> At least when it's dead, I know it's dead. You know. Yeah. Well, do you want to tap my Shivan? I'm going to go to combat. Do you want to tap my Shivan? Uh, yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> He's, uh, he saw the line. Damn it. Damn, was it that obvious? Yeah. Two creatures on the board. I thought he'd be confused. Tap the wrong one. Why couldn't he be eating pizza and not paying attention? Ah, fiddlesticks. Yeah. Ooh, twiddlesticks. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, why did I wheel a fortune there? Oh, I love it. Did I have, um, let me see my hand here. Yeah, I think I discarded a buttload of creatures, but, and, uh, I think I had, like, two Arabian Nights cards in my hand and three creatures. So it was like, I actually just have zero cards in my hand. Even though I had five, it was like, I can't do anything with those. Well, that's the thing, actually. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. Why don't I just hard cast a big creature, next turn hard cast a big creature, next turn hard, you know what I mean? Like, that's three turns in a row. I can just go trike, trike, deep spawn. Yeah. Maybe you should try that approach well, instead of trying to do the whole the all, all the whole Eve. thing, right? Well, that's what I mean. If I didn't have it in the deck, I wouldn't be tempted to do those kinds of things. So it's interesting, right? It plays those two functions. Of you said the other mark is not playing it in this deck. Uh, he just posted. I think they just there's a tournament going on right now in Neos. And I think he's six zero, and his list is not playing all Hallows Eve. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. But I mean, we'll see. Oh, okay. So you decided to I do the mind have, twist. I did have the mind twist too. So maybe tapping the soul ring was correct in the end. So I forget how many did you get me for? I think three or four. I think I think so. Four. Only three? Or no, those four. going in the graveyard? Those going in the graveyard? Okay, so I hit you for four here. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame uh, the camera was in position a little more. Yeah, we have a lot of dead space on the... Yeah. Sorry, folks. It's okay. Well, also, don't forget, right? Our, the games aren't filmed like this. They're filmed yeah. up and down. We have, to, we have to change the orientation to make it look like we're in front of each other, and it kind of fishbowls the... That's true. So playing the Soul Ring, I mean, playing the Chaos Orb. I never like, feel good in this matchup. <laughs> and another, playing a second Ice Emblem. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, look, I think definitely a glaring mistake already is not just hard casting Fat Boys every turn. Yeah. It's 
Except for Shivan. Is Shivan a female? I don't know. No idea. Are all dragons female? It's a dragon. It's a fictional creature. Oh boy, here we go. What do you, what do you mean? Game of Thrones and they all said they were real. What are you talking about? I think you did a little too much puff puff yesterday. No, fa- fantasy, it's affecting the, uh... fantasy is only fake <laughs> if you don't believe. Okay. A little, a little too much of. Uh... I'm pretty sure there are accounts in history of winged things flying around. Yeah, it's called my ex girlfriend. Called, called birth. <laughs> yeah, winged things flying around. I'm breathing fire on everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I mean, look, you got two ices sitting in a sitting in a bottle, chaos or relic barrier. I've got one creature. So I'm like, I'm still like feeling good because I got like removal. I got two ices to tap. I got something to restrict your card pool. So here I go for Rasputin instead of Deep Spawn. Deep Spawn I can give Shroud, but then it's tapped. So you can't touch it, but I I have to tap it. To to avoid it being tapped by your IC, I have to tap, tap it. it. So it doesn't make any sense. Joke's on you. Yeah, Rasputin yeah. gets me back into that potential of X spells or, you know, two blue sources plus Rasputin equals a deep spawn. You know, you can... Yeah. It's actually interesting. It's like the kind of concept where that one card is actually two or three cards. So really valuable when one, like Ancestral, right? One, one card gets you three cards, but it's like net two. But like still, you get multiple cards for the one card, high value. Rasputin is in that same count. Yeah. Okay, so I I use... mean, you time twister at this point, so I'm like, okay. Yeah, and I, I chose to use his counters instead of more mana, more lands. So like, I wanted to keep my blue, black, and white sources available. No, I, I kind of understand. Yeah. So See, I like, think... at this point, I'm like, okay, I still have some mana available. I have the the Tundra. I still have the Lotus. No, yeah, yeah. So... You're not playing any counter spells in your deck? Right? No, drain? no counter spells. No mana drain. No uh, no four spikes. Yeah, but your Disenchant no. is a Divine Intervention in the main? Like Divine you know, Offering. Divine... What did I say? Intervention. intervention. Uh, divine Offering in yes. the main? So you can't even hit the enchantments? Which is fine, but yeah, it's okay. Your enchantment, the enchantments that you want to hit, are attached to creatures, which you just tap with icy. So yeah, it's okay. Or abysses, or oh my yeah. god, let me get me started on the abyss. <laughs> Christ, yeah. See that feeling you have? That's how I felt the last video. The last, the yeah, last yeah. Yeah. It's like ah, oh, Christ, time vault. So. You got the deep the deep thoughts going on. I think I yeah, on the end step I tapped. I probably could have tapped it to Relic too. Just be a bit more aggressive. I find your board state is in this kind of position where you don't need to think about how to win, you just need to think about how to make me concede. <laughs> Because sometimes when I see like cards like st- stacked on top of each other, like three or four, like it's one thing if you have like 15 lines, but I like to see what I have. I know, you know, the opponent sees as well, so, you know, it's there's the, nothing uh, to hide. It's the of. Patrick Chapin Chaos or PTSD, where he yeah. just plays like every card so spaced out and sees them all. There's one video. If I really want to miss the opponent, I could just put like land, mox, creature. Yeah. Just like everywhere, so they're like having to look at. Well, oh yeah, oh yeah, it was this game where you Armageddon. Did I, did I, <laughs> did I just like cut my wrists? I don't remember what I did in response to that. But also, just to say, I'm, sh- I'm sure I'll catch some flack in the comments about playing lands in front. Uh, who cares? I, well, not that you mentioned it, people, yeah, of course. People seem to care so much about it. Like, it's insane. It's, you either don't understand why. Like, I've had people say to me, oh, you're playing lands in front? Why? So, like, the curious? And then there's just the other side of the spectrum is just like hate, just pure hate. Seriously, like for so, lands, it's in so front? it's so aggressive. They get so fucking riled up. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Like I don't, guy, why? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and you had like three dead cards in your hand. So I was like, I was feeling pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I do have like five mana sources still, right? Like we were pretty equal in terms of mana sources. It's just that you have everything else that I have in play locked out. Yeah. 
So the bird came in clutch for one second there. It, it cast the Shivan Dragon, which you then promptly tapped, but that's a different story. Yeah, so I decided to use my Lotus at this point just to tap your... And explode? Yeah, 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 take me off of the Sylvan. Yeah, that's good. That's really smart. Yeah, at this point, because you're... I think I probably went for the Soaring... Limit your... Yeah, because I knew you had like three death cards, you couldn't really cast much. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me just... Where are those Hercules recalls when you need them? Well... Oh. Oh, you're just Hercules recall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Attack for nine. Cool story. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> yeah, pump, pump, pump. Okay, so. I guess what? that's true too. Is like when you tap my Rasputin with your Ices, it makes it so I can't put counters on them on my next turn. I'm pretty sure. So playing two ca uh, copy artifacts. Oh yeah, is that a conceit? I think I just conceded that, right? Well, it's because I have eight. I swing for three. Yeah, it goes to 11, and then I just die on the next swing. And then I could tap your creatures at your next turn, and then just swing and. Yeah. But I decided to do the same thing. So Maybe tap your I creatures. Find. You're soaring. B -b Bizarre. How about no? <laughs> And that's me going. Yeah, and that's game. So, so like this is like a bit this is like the part of the video where if Mark is watching, he'll go, look what happened. You just lost with two all hollows even your end. Yeah. But I mean I, I had City in the bottle. That's true, that's true. Bizarre would uh, Bizarre would like dig. Would go rampant. But yeah, I don't know. Like I'm pretty sure even our last match that we recorded casual night, I played Reanimator, you played Shops, and it was just like yeah, I'm gonna do all this work to animate that a Shivan, and then you're just gonna go Rice Manipulator, and I'm gonna say, why? Why did I invite you into my life? Like, <laughs> I don't remember. Because I, I bring greatness. Yeah. I, you bring joy. I, I, sunshine. I, I elevate you to a new level. Yes, thank you. Just be like, ah. This that is contra <laughs> this contribution to society will not go over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing stuff on the internet. So we're gonna be famous one yeah. day. So I think for sideboarding, look back and be like, man, that guy Anthony yeah. is amazing. I think amazing. I think for sideboarding, <laughs> Anthony, I just bring in three or four free calls. I don't know what you bring in for me because like you're already pretty well equipped. If you bring uh, sword to plowshares in the sideboard, you have maybe sword to plowshares. Maybe so swords, yeah, for your artifact creatures. Yeah, I'm already so wrecked to your deck, and then you bring in swords. It's like, okay, yeah, why? Yeah, don't call me Anthony. No, my name is Big Daddy yeah. T. <laughs> Big Daddy Tone. Big Daddy T. So, right away, you start pretty aggressive with the... Uh... Oh, yeah, well, I don't want to deal with... Also, I had, like, a full hand of creatures, so I didn't want to, A, worry about another city, and also, B, is, like, let me just... Hopefully, next turn, Mox and Animate Dead. But still, like, you know, you go you go workshop Mox Icy Manipulator, and I'm just like, I have three cards in my hand, and you just lock me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Underground Sea, Pearl. Yet. Jet. Yep. Round two. I'm surprised like, I didn't flip you off. Mentally you were. Yo, yeah, in my head I was like, shit, if you were here, I'd kick you out. Yeah. Well, I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> but I did, I did have the anime dead, so... Yeah, so I was like, okay. Okay, he's got... Uh... The question is, Shivan, Deep Spawn, Rasputin? Like, what do you do? If your hand is Rasputin friendly, Rasputin. If you're afraid of Plow, maybe Deep Spawn, but I have no blue, so not good. If I do Shivan, it's like the scariest one, but I'm PTSD'd from uh, Icy Manipulator, so I, I don't know. I just went with the Rasputin. And I think it's actually this game where I had all the choices. Where I, when during the deck tech, when I'm saying I think I made misplays with Rasputin, I'm pretty sure it's actually this is the game where that, oh my god, no, it's not this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not this game. And you're like, oh yeah, good thing you played it because I had Mind Twist. Yeah, but no no lands to cast any of my cards at so so it looks like it's just um, no because you're gonna mind twist me next turn because you're Rasputin oh fuck yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay like, oh, good so. thing you did it because I was gonna you're like I'm gonna do, I was gonna do it to you until I drew into like so you're like feeling not great but I mean you're still doing four damage well, I got it's three because of the stupid enemy yeah oh yeah, yeah that's see, right look at me yeah 
reminding you in the past, reminding yeah, you in yeah. the present. That's the finger of shame. That's the finger of, I'm going to lose this game anyways, but just at least don't give me any advantage. <laughs> Let me just be fair. Oh, yeah, that's, frustra that's frustration. That's, uh... Oh, no, no, that's not frustration. I was going to strip you, and I decided not to. Like, if you play a factory, you can... Not really w block well my Rasputin, but still, it doesn't let me put more damage into you. So, and there is a factory. I don't think I, don't think I strip it, though. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't, like, I'm already kind of in a bad state, but that doesn't affect me. Oh, did you get to see the gut? Nope. Pretty sure there's one point in this video where I just, like, <laughs> go to scratch my gut and just, like, yeah. the Italiana was on full display. Yeah, three more. Okay, okay. You're losing. You're, You're losing. losing. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is I'm looking like, all right. This is looking good. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I mean. Oh, I love seeing that card. Oh, makes me happy. So. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I honestly. Yeah, this... I just kind of remember thinking to myself if I could do what I did to you in the last match. You should be able to do to me what you want to do to me in this match. Yeah. Seems only fair. Threw you around like a rag doll, boy. Ah, yeah. oh, man, that city again. Which is actually kind of interesting, right? Because in both of my our first matches, I had library of library, and now in both of these games, you had city. City, city. Yeah. yeah. So, I think I'm gonna do the factory beatdown. Yeah, now the point. factory beatdown begins. Because I, mean, I got one card in hand, right? I've just been not really doing much. All Hallows Eve would be good here, with my Shiv and Deep Spawn and uh, Rasputin in the graveyard. But of course, oh no, because you have the fucking Relic Barrier, so I couldn't even play uh, All Hallows Eve. I would need to specifically draw another Black Source. Damn, yeah. God, it's very, yeah. just, very just. That's why I, I, I mean, well, it was your only artifact, but yeah. the the reason why I didn't want you to have two Black Sources was yeah. for that card specifically. Yep. Yeah. Look at the Abyss and the. Bottom right hand of the corner here of the screen, just taunting, just haunting, yeah, this is, this haunting, taunting, flaunting. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. I love it. It is. So let's see what happens here. Actually, How do I decide to? Just to say really quickly, as a quick plug for our Tundra Wolves uh, Seven, Tundra Wolves Seven, Seven, uh, seven this year. Uh, the flavor text on. Uh, the Abyss mentions Enfance de, et de Jeunesse, and I'm pretty sure we actually send all the proceedings as a charitable donation to so, uh, Sun, yeah, Sun, so. Sun Youth, which in French is uh, Jeunesse. And so it's, yes, I forget the exact translation, but yeah. So, so well, Jeunesse en Soleil, I think. And since we're plugging, don't forget to buy a Tundra Wolves calendar. Oh, well, yeah. And, That's uh, true. With all, the amazing thumb, with all the amazing art from all the thumbnails, yeah, which is... That's, Honestly, like it's our channel, but I don't. I've never seen better thumbnails in, yeah. any, in any old school channel, and they're all available on our calendar. So yeah, I think it's like ten Canadian, ten bucks or something. Yeah. All the proceeds go to Sun Youth. Go so to Sun Youth. Okay. Feel free uh, to buy one, pick one up, support but, your uh, local. Uh, or I think some of it would also go to just in obviously like well to cover the uh, cost. Well, like, of... yeah, but also just like improving content, like uh, cameras or whatever, or microphones for the. And if you can't buy a calendar, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe is the best and easiest way, but we didn't say that. Watch more matches of me destroying Mark my shops there. Anyways, so anyways, <laughs> Icy Manipulator. Yeah, Icy see, Manipulator. But you see what I'm saying, though, is like with this matchup, it's like between the Abyss and the Icy and the Relic and the, the City and the Plows in the side, and the, it's just such an immense uphill fight for the Reanimator deck. I want to see, I'm, again, like this is all dependent on if Mark even watches this, but if he's got content videos of himself playing against Reanimator, against the deck, and winning those matchups, please send them. I need to see what's going on that's making those matchups. I know he complains a lot about the deck. Yeah. But like, if he plays against shops and wins, like when you go 6-0 in a Neos event, is it because you're skating and you're just not seeing any of these horrible matchups? Or is it because you figured it out and you know how to beat them now? And if it's the latter, please send the videos. Like, I yeah, want, I'm I, also I want curious because yeah. I want to see like I've never heard of a deck be very consistent like that. So I wonder if it's his playstyle. Yeah, you know, I'm very curious to see uh, what he's doing that we're not, or that like I'm not, and that you don't know, or whatever. It, to be really good. So the factory beatdown continues, and it's proving to be quite successful because you just have me so locked out. I have one card in my hand. The yeah, and at this point, I was like, 
do you want to strip? Because I remember at one point I was like touching the factory. I was like, do you want to strip the factory? And you're like, no. I was like, okay. Yeah, which the beats continue. Sense. So which I found like a, uh, because I was like, okay, at least that's right now. This is your reoccurring damage. Is your Recall. Recall. For one, two. Recall for Hercules recall. In the face of an ancestral recall. Do you recall? I don't recall. <laughs> ah. Oh, but you regrow. Uh, so, what, what, but like, what's Hercules recall going to do for me? I'll take two more damage from your swing, and then in the next turn, you know I have Hercules, so you won't play anything. Because maybe you want to play... An Arabian Nights card. Um, sure. I guess. I just feel so bad, right? Because then you just replay everything. Like, yeah. It's all coming. It's all coming, right? I, oh, but ah, uh, but ah, uh, not stripping your factory if my plan was Hercules Recall. I could see in a, a world where I Hercules you and then I strip your workshop. So it's harder for you to replay everything. Right? Yeah, maybe that was your plan. So I'm just continuing the... Uh, the assault? Yeah. Oh. So I copy the factory... Yeah. Because at the end of the turn, it comes back to a line. Yeah, wasn't Jess talking about this? He thought you attacked with Mox. Is this what he's talking about? Because this doesn't... This looks like you just tapped the Mox to attack for two. And then you copied the factory. Remember he was messaging saying... Yeah. You can so... We'll have to get JS in the comments uh, on this video to tell us uh, what he meant. Because I remember I attacked with the factory, and because it was an artifact creature, until end of turn it became a valid target for the copy artifact. Right, right. Which right. now the copy artifact becomes a mistress factory, and yeah. at the end of turn it becomes a lion. Yes. So it's no, it's no longer being... can no longer be targeted by your purpose of recall. Because it's a lion now at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you, obviously, if you yeah. try to attack with it this turn... Then it's not, yeah, then I yeah. couldn't. I could pump it for one, which I should, yeah. probably should have done. But um, see, but here I gotta like take the four, and then hurdles you on your end step. I can't hurdles you during your combat. You know, I can't afford to to save myself for life because otherwise you'll just replay everything on your turn. I can't let that happen if I'm gonna hurdles you. But anyways, this game has been uh... yeah. Oh, and then you even did that. Oh yeah, you did that, and I was like, I, I can't even hurdles you anymore on your end step. I have to do it now, which I didn't. I don't think then. Yeah, I might have just point. been a little bit discouraged there, uh, like <laughs> just couldn't see any way out. Oh, that's what Chas was saying. You, you activated the mocks instead of activating the copy artifact. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. Yeah, well, I just stopped the wrong card. I mean, yeah, no, but this is definitely not looking anywhere positive for me in any way. So, I don't even think. Uh, you know, if I would have recalled for an anime dead instead, they wouldn't have mattered. You just tap the creature with your IC. Yeah. You know, so, so like for real, is anybody who's got any kind of recording of themselves playing Reanimator versus Shops, please send me the link because I, it just seems like it's just unbeatable. It just seems unwinnable. Like the Shops deck is already so strong doing those things, and they yeah. just seem like they're amplified versus the Reanimator. Well, I remember a couple times you did when you were just able to. Like, get so many creatures, I just had, didn't have enough answers, or you had like four creatures. Yeah, but see, that's an argument for all Hallows Eve. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. Or you know, I was just like overwhelmed, I could just kind of deal with all the creatures, so at a certain point, it's like. Yeah. I think I said, yeah. I said, oh, I tapped. Well, either way, I had an extra mana, so I probably made a mistake there. Whoops, it does. But I mean, just tapping the wrong card. Yeah, I would never make any mistakes ever, so I don't know what you're doing uh, over there. Just ruining everyone's viewing experience. The mistake, no, there's an obvious mistake, the deck you're playing right now. Oh, uh, okay. That's the huge mistake. It's, it's Look, like I, the elephant in the room there, buddy. I miss my dark rituals, okay? That's the only thing <laughs> yeah. I can say. So, so this okay. is the last-ditch effort here animate the Rasputin to put a Chaos Orb into play, which I can activate with his with his counters, but, like, it's not... I'm just gonna lose it. I have to, like, Abyss here. I need to block a factory, remove a counter to pre prevent the damage, and then I need to remove another counter to blow up your Abyss so the Rasputin stays alive, but I can't even block because you can just icy it. It's... Uh... Yeah, it's... It's... 
it's rough. Because now you can just kill me, so I have to blow up one of the lands, since you tap the Rasputin. If I tap, if I blow up the land, then I'm not blowing up the Abyss, and then on my next turn I'm losing my Rasputin to your Abyss. It's just... I think at this point I decided to tap your... Yeah, your Chaos Orb. I said force him to use it. See, but why not the creature? No, oh, because then you just... Yeah, now you tap the creature. But again, why wouldn't I blow up a factory? I must... Maybe I just forgot that it was a factory. Since you attacked with a mox last turn. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you tell me, hey, I've got a second factory, and I say, oh, okay, well, obviously I have to destroy the factory then. Oh, but not... Oh, because I have a strip mine. Yes, you have a strip mine, so you strip one, down to two. So here's the thing, interesting comment here is that because five turns later I used the strip on factory. Yeah, and then I had uh, Triskelion. Yeah, so. but this is like because I ended up using the strip on a factory means five turns earlier I should have used the strip on the factory. Yeah. Would have prevented the Calpy artifact, would have prevented the 10 damage, and uh, if I used the, the strip for something else, then you could talk about justification, but because I ended up stripping the factory anyway, it's just. Yeah, just a, just a disaster of a match, uh, of, a, of, a, of a game, of a game. I, I, you got it right the The mind twist. Disaster. The mind twist. <laughs> mind twist. Tapping your blue sword so you couldn't even cast your... Yeah, the Hercules there. The Hercules and... But, I mean, it's okay because, like, at the end of the day, uh, this opened my eyes a little bit more to Rasputin's potential. Yeah. And I did see some sunshine through the Bird of Paradise. So, despite the absolute spanking, uh, I'm happy that I took away some... Maybe hard casting the the big boys and then the big boys too. Yeah. So, so it was like depending yeah. leading, instead of leading too much on the All Hallows Eve mm -hmm. angle, just mm -hmm. hard casting them just straight up, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I saw you uh, throw in a nice little curve, but I mean, yeah. but, just we're not able to get it through. At the very least, hopefully our deck pickers are good enough for the uh, Mine to, to make up for some of the previous uh, deck pickers. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, well, I mean, we hope you guys enjoyed, of course. Uh, obviously, casual means nothing on the line except for knowledge to be gained. So, hope, uh, hope information was uh, was good for y'all and yep. it was still fun to watch. We had definitely had fun playing it and commentating it. So, uh, see you next time. Yep. Until the next one.